My friends, it is Marlon Gibbons here. Thank you for joining me at Music in the Making here in the studio. Today's topic, music library rejection. It's a thing. So I want to talk to you about it and and how you can deal with it because it's, um, it's kind of inevitable. Eventually you're going to get rejected from a library if you haven't already. Uh, there's a couple things that can kind of help you get through it and just kind of keep your spirits up. It's kind of hard to hear that your something that you created isn't of value to somebody else or somebody else doesn't want it for whatever reason. So we'll get into that. So that's today's topic, how to deal with rejection from music libraries. Cheers. Okay, so as I've said before, this channel is about me sharing my... This channel is about me sharing my experience. Give me a second. She wants to say hi. Say hi. Hi? Okay. Now get down. So, anyway, so as I've said before, this channel is about me just sharing my experiences. You know, how I've dealt with it and kind of pushed forward and the things I've done. I think looking back at it, I think have been of value and, and helped me and I still deal with that today. Um, not necessarily music library stuff, but, but contracts and bids and that kind of stuff. And, you know, I'll submit something that I think is, is dead on the money and no, it just doesn't fly. And, and, it's, and I'm told, sorry, this just isn't going to work. That's cool. So I'll put the most important piece of this video right up here, right in, right in the front. Um, the sooner you understand that this is just part of the game, like it's part of the industry, you should expect that certain libraries are going to decline and, and pass on your music. Um, the sooner you understand that, the more successful you'll be because you'll be able to just disregard it and move forward. Um, I know it's hard not to take personally, but don't take it personally. It's it's not. Um, you just you need to understand that statistically speaking, you're gonna get a no, uh, or a few of them, and uh, you just need to understand that that is part of it. It's not a what the hell I thought this was all gonna be easy and everybody I submitted my awesome music to was gonna love it and take it. That's just not how it works. Um, you know, even even the top top guys, um, their music may not be perfect for every job, and and that's just that's just how it works. So, so the big message that I want you to take away from this before we get into even to the other stuff is that just understand that getting no's or getting rejection letters or emails or whatever from libraries and jobs that you've submitted to and demoed on is just part of the job, and, and you have to have thick skin and move on. Okay, so so you've submitted to a library and you get that email that, uh, you know, thank you for your interest or thank you for submitting your music to us at this time and then whatever, you know, it, no. <laughs> at this time, you know, we're, um, we're not looking for. Um, thank you, thank you for your consideration, thank you for your time, but uh, at this time we'll pass. We wish you the best. It's always a very professional sounding email uh, or response in, in in how they decline your your music, and it's and that's fine. I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna tell you, um, you know, you suck. Don't don't bug us. They, it's it's always very professional, and you should have that same courtesy, that same approach, that same professionalism when you respond. Um, and and that's that's the next step. I I really recommend that you respond to them. Um, email them back. And although you might want to give them a piece of your mind or you might want to defend your music or why they didn't choose you, don't. Resist the urge, don't burn any bridges. Respond to them very politely, very gracefully, very um, grateful, appreciative, and just say thank you for your time and consideration. Uh, I, I appreciate it. I look forward to possibly working with you in the future. Of course, you're not going to burn that bridge if you want to go back to them. And even if you don't, Still, don't burn any bridges. Uh, you'd be surprised at how connected that industry is and, and how many of them know each other. And you may think you're gonna write this big epic email and just tell them off. Do you want them telling all their colleagues how pissed you were or what kind of person you are or how you respond to rejection? Um, it just, it doesn't paint a good picture of you. Um, and not that any of you would do that, but in case you were thinking about it, if, if you get one of these rejection letters, just be graceful and, and respond to them and say thank you and, uh, and move on uh, if you're not going to go back to them. 
So the next thing is, in most cases, no, they are not going to respond to you and give you constructive feedback. I know you'll want it. Um, I've been there and you would really hope that if they're not gonna accept your music or take your music, accept you into the library, that they would tell you why. They're not going to, I can almost guarantee you. Um, you might get lucky depending on the library and they may, they may say, you know, we really love your stuff. Do you have any of this? Because if they're interested in working with you um, and your music was almost what they wanted, they might come back to you. Um, but probably nine times out of 10, they're just gonna send you that boilerplate template kind of email and say, thank you, but no thank you. Um, they don't, and, and here's the thing, again, you have to understand, they don't owe you um, constructive feedback. They, they don't. Um, they're running a business, they're generating revenue. It's, that's, that's their focus, um, is to make money with their music. So they don't have time to, to spend writing an email to critique your music. There, there's companies out there, um, there's entities and companies out there that will, will take your money and critique your music if you wanna do that, but to expect a library who's got a, another agenda to take the time to critique your music, um, they're just, they're just not going to. So it sucks, I know, I can empathize, I was there, but move past it. Um, and and there are other resources. Um, you know, I don't always recommend using your friends for, for feedback, um, for feedback and constructive criticism on your music. Stay away from friends and family. They, they tend to, um, some friends are brutally honest, but uh, most, oh, it's great, that's awesome. They don't have the ears and the subjectivity that uh, you know a library would. So, um, so again, don't don't expect feedback and, and, and constructive criticism or, or why a reason why they didn't accept your music. They just that's not what they're in the business for. So, I know it sucks, but uh, you just gotta move move forward and find other ways to improve your music. They're not running a YouTube channel. My income comes from my music, not this YouTube channel. Um, I have an honest interest in helping you. Um, and, and they're not bad for, for wanting to make money, but th again, they need to put all their energy into things that give them value. And taking their time to give you uh, critiques is not of value to them, unless they're charging you for it. Um, which, as I said, there are companies that will, will do that. So maybe create a folder in your email, um, your email account and put all those emails so you can keep all the responses that you're getting from these libraries in there so you know when um, you've submitted to different libraries, what libraries you've submitted to, and what they've responded with. Um, maybe maybe it's just they're not looking for um, you know what you're offering. There could be a million different reasons. So if you've gotten an email where they've said, sorry, just we're not interested, um, what I would do is you still have that music that you've submitted to. It doesn't, just because that library doesn't want your music, it doesn't mean it's not viable music. You can take that music and go elsewhere. Um, try another library. I, I mean, if you do your research, you're gonna come up with tons of different libraries to submit to. So take that music and go elsewhere. Do, do something else with it. It doesn't mean it's, it's off the table. Um, or if you want, you know, try and improve it. Yeah, have, or as I, as I mentioned earlier, have somebody uh, critique it and, and make those changes and, and, or, or ask a bunch of different people. And if, if that group of people, if the consensus keeps coming back, well, you know, there's just this one thing, whatever it happens to be, um, then you know, you know, they're not, it's not just somebody's, you know, random opinion. If you keep getting people critique your music and tell you the same thing, whatever that happens to be, you might want to address that, right? Um, so either take the music and try and improve it, but you'll need feedback before you can know what to attempt to improve. Uh, maybe it's just your production skills overall. Maybe it's the wrong style, the wrong feel. Maybe it's your mixing. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, could be a million different things. Or maybe there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just not a fit for that library. Um, so that's, that's always a big possibility too. So keep that music and possibly hit another library, but keep track of the libraries that are responding to you and saying, sorry. Um, so you'll know that either A, you don't wanna go back to them or um, or maybe you do. Maybe there's, it's not, it wasn't a, a harsh email. Maybe the, a lot of them, I've, I've gotten letters before in the past where they've said, 
um, just not at this time, but please, please keep us um, up to date with new material and anything you come up with that's new. So it doesn't mean they're closing the door on you again. So I know it, it sounds negative when you get one of these emails, but really there's a lot of positives to pull from it. Um, it it's, it's hard to hear because it's something you've created. Um, but it, it's true. You, you can have thick skin and, and look at the, the positives in it, right? So yeah, I mean, don't, don't spend too much time in a funk trying to figure out why, um, why they didn't, didn't want it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it wasn't like, oh, this is awful. Let's you know, fire them off in email and say no. It's not necessarily the case. You might have been really close. They just, they don't have the time and they need to take in those, those submissions that are dead on the money. Um, so, so yeah, don't, don't get too bent out of shape or beat up about it. So, so that's kind of it. I, I don't mean for this, this video to come off as, as, uh, you know, like cheerleading, like you can do it, don't give up. But it's kind of true that that kind of is what I'm saying. Um, it, it's, it's hard to get those emails and you will get them. It's part of the game. Um, even at a professional level, different jobs and stuff, you're still getting, um, you're still getting these emails where, where agencies or, or companies or whatever are, are, are not accepting what you're putting on the table or they don't, uh, it's not a fit for what they've asked for, whatever the case. You just have to understand that that, that is part of it and accept it and move forward. Try to do better or, um, just try not to get in a funk about it and, uh, and, and just keep pushing forward. So that's it. Um, hey friends, today we're almost at 500. Um, this video is, well, tomorrow's Thursday, so depending on when you're watching this, I'm not quite at 500 subs, um, but I'm really close. And I just wanna say thank you again, everybody for tuning in and watching. I hope you're finding this valuable um, and I'm gonna keep putting out these videos. Not every week is gonna be the library stuff, but. Um, but that seems to be what people are resonating with. So I'm, I'm gonna try and keep going with that. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment, like, and uh, we'll see you next week, friends. Cheers.